Welcome back to the garage. Today I figured I'd do a quick update on the uh, rudder pedals and the brakes and some of the uh, control cabling that I've already done. I started off here. I haven't got this put in place yet because I wanted to uh, just check something out. I think I put the cotter pins in incorrectly and I wanted to get that fixed. So I'm just going to go back, reference the manual, reference the builder's guide and just kind of make sure that's done properly. In this image here, you can kind of see what it should look like, at least as far as I know. And uh, hopefully this will do, it'll work well. It's Friday evening, and uh, as you can see, I've got the, uh, the brackets and the pedals now mounted permanently. And I've got the uh, brake line running up just temporarily laid in place um, until I can uh, until I can go and uh, get the rest of the pieces fabricated. I'll also show you here I just put all the panels in place so you can kind of get a look at what it's going to look like. Uh, it's looking pretty good and making some good progress as I uh, as I continue to work on uh, putting this all together. Here it is the next day. Now I actually have the lines run in here. You can see the plastic lines have been fabricated. Everything is hooked up and tightened. Uh, the one thing that is different is the plans call for a different setup. So uh, you need to check and make sure you've got the latest plans from Vance. But it's Sunday evening. And uh, as you can see here, all of the cables are now, control cables are all connected. Down here, I've got the connecting linkage done. Um, I haven't put the cotter pins in yet. This is temporary until I get those primed. I need to take those connecting pieces off and prime them. I've got the, uh, the plastic tubing coming out that protects it. And you can see same on the other side. And then you can also see down here, this is the little bushing that you mount in here. Uh, cable guide uh, that I think uh, does a couple of things. Number one, it keeps the uh, cable up and out of the uh, where the fuel lines are. Um, not that they can get down there anyway, but it also gives a little bit of tension, I feel like, so that when you push on the rudder pedals, um, it's got a little bit of resistance. And I assume that'll, that'll come out and uh, it'll work really well once the rudder's on there. As you push one, it'll obviously pull the other one in. And then <clears throat> it's run all the way down through. I've just got the cover off for now. And in through the back here, all the way back out and then ultimately I think what I will do is uh, on the very back where it comes out I'll probably go get one of those uh, the little covers that people put on the planes and use that on there but uh, for as far as the uh, controls for the rudder and the brakes uh, all done and uh, a little bit of priming put in some cotter pins but other than that uh, it's good to go and that's the update for this week have a great uh, day and uh, don't forget if you enjoyed the video, uh, make sure you give it a like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye now.